Hello everyone, welcome to the first lecture in the financial economics course and we start with a subtopic of topic one which is uh, investment theory and portfolio analysis and this topic has 40% British and that's quite quite a lot in fact. So will you first covering the preliminaries uh, of this topic and uh, this is how the how the lecture structure looks like. So we'll be first discussing the power of compounding and then we'll be using this uh, the concept of compounding to understand other related concepts like present value and future value. So let us first start with uh, uh, power of compounding. Uh, so let us first get an understanding of what compounding is all about and the best way to understand compounding would be with, be with the help of an example. So let's say that you have with you uh, $100 and uh, you want to invest this hundred, these hundred dollars for like two years, two years, okay? So, हमारे पास hundred dollars हैं और हम दो साल के लिए इसे invest करना चाहते हैं और market rate of interest जो है वो है दस percent per annum और जो interest है वो annually ही credit हो रहा है मतलब हर एक साल के बाद you are getting the interest amount, okay? So what do you mean by so what are, so so potentially there are like two ways of uh, looking at the same uh, uh, same investment and you can get either the interest by a simple interest method or you can get it by a compound interest method okay so dono mein difference kya hai so in case of a simple interest method you can you'll get the interest rate which is basically a fixed percentage of the principal amount and you get this interest rate every year. So this will be $10. So year one may aapka $10 accrue hoga as an interest or year two may एक सौ दस डॉलर जो है वो अक्रू होगा यानि कि दो साल के एंड में यू बी हैविंग वन ट्वेंटी डॉलर्स विद यू दिस इज व्हेन वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग इंटरेस्ट बाय सिंपल इंटरेस्ट मेथड नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इफ आई यूज कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट ओके सो लेट्स 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 सी व्हाट हैपेंस इन केस वी यूज कंपाउंड � जो ईयर वन के एंड में आपके हाथ में अमाउंट होगा आप उस पे भी इंटरेस्ट कमाएंगे सो लेट्स सी व्हाट हैपेंस देयर नाउ सो एट द एंड ऑफ ईयर वन ओके यू विल बी हैविंग एन अमाउंट ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड टेन डॉलर्स ओके ईयर वन के एंड में सो व्हेन यू गो टू ईयर टू यू विल आल्सो अर्न the interest over the interest exactly so 110 times 10 over 100 into 1 plus 110 and this will turn out to be 11 plus 110 equal to 121 so this is what the amount you get if you compound interest if you if you if you compound the is the interest rate is compounded annually okay so you see that by simple interest method do sal ke in may you have 120 dollars but by compound interest method you'll have 121 dollars so there's a difference of you can say one dollar so compound interest method gives you one dollar extra and this is what i call as the power of compounding so if i keep if i keep uh, increasing if i keep increasing my uh, years here so let's say if i if i instead of 2 years i were to take for 10 years then this amount will be the difference between compound and simple interest amounts will be a lot higher than 1 dollars okay so that's the basic idea of compounding so to give you one more example here and become more clear with that so let's say that uh, your forefathers had lent one dollar to the British government hundred years ago, okay, and uh, yeah, so they had lent one dollar to the British government hundred years ago, and you and you say that, 
and, and we can assume our interest rate of 0.04. So we can say that the average rate of return uh, in these 100 years was, say, 4%. Uh, now, if I want to find out the, 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 the value of this $1 in the present period, okay? So let's see how I can do that. So this will be 1.1 1 .1 plus 0 0.04 raised to power 100, okay? And uh, which will turn out to be some 50.50. So you can see that you can see that it was one dollar and over hundred years it becomes fifty times of its past value. Okay, and this is the power of compounding. So now that we are clear about the power of uh, the idea of power of compounding, we can move to the next slide, which is compound interest versus simple interest. And the idea that I'm trying to drive home, okay, with this slide is that how how simple interest increases the uh, future amount okay in a linear fashion in a linear fashion so if say uh, we have a principal amount of hundred dollars with interest rate of uh, ten percent okay and I want to find say the amount at some time period T okay so let's call this some time period T I can simply use this formula which is 100 plus 10 t okay so you can see it's 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 fairly simple the idea of simple interest is fairly simple uh, and the amount increases in a linear fashion on the contrary in case of a compound interest it increases in an exponential fashion and that's the first difference between like first you can say uh, observed difference between simple and compound interest methods okay so the formula for compound interest i i have not so far stated the formula so here i introduce the formula so for compound interest method so let's say we invest an amount p okay amount and invest p at the interest rate of r percent per annum okay and uh, the interest is to be credited n times a year. So that's a frequency. n times a year. That's the frequency. So what do we mean by frequency here? Okay. So the idea here is this: that it's it's not possible that it, it is possible that banks might credit or rather I would say uh, to the financial institution to whom you lend that money might credit the uh, amount at the end of each year okay uh, but but the interest could be credited on different frequencies also so for example uh, banks do it quarterly okay uh, if you are borrowing money from a friend, you can have a similar terms of agreement. You can go for semi-annual compounding. So what difference does it make? So let's take an example here. So let's say that uh, you borrow an amount of uh, same, say say thousand thousand uh, dollars, okay, and you agree that uh, you'll be paying it back, say after uh, six years, okay. So you say that uh, your T is, your time is six years. The annual interest rate for which you agreed is 4%, but the frequency with which you'll be paying that interest rate, okay, is quarterly. So quarterly means that after every four months, after every four months, the interest will be calculated okay so what will what will uh, what will be the amount okay what will be the overall amount that you will be paying and that will be 1000 times 1 plus 
0 0.04 upon 4 n times t that is 24 and if you just calculate this 1000 into 1.26973 so the overall amount turnout will turn out to be 126973 just 7 here 0.73 so if i were to split the overall amount into two components principal and interest i can verify that principal amount is 1000 while the interest is 269.73 dollars okay